Hi and welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to show you how to migrate an ASP.NET Core 3.1 application to .NET 5. The RC1 of .NET 5 just released last week and it's the first RC uh, out of two before we hit the final version in later November. So as it said in this blog post by Richard Lander, one of the project managers on .NET, uh, you can use it in live projects, it is fully supported, and uh, you can use it in production. So, I think it's a good time to upgrade and see how everything is working. And I've done a couple of uh, migrations uh, in the last few days, uh, at least three projects. I migrated from uh, 3.1 to 5 and I encountered absolutely no problem. It went very smooth and very easy. Uh, there was a couple of problems with different libraries that I upgraded. They were breaking chains in their own uh, system, their, their own base code, but absolutely no problem with uh, .NET Framework. So it's going to be easy for the most part, uh, but obviously you, you have to take care of your code and maybe create a new branch and uh, have a, a version control system. Uh, to take care of any problems that you may encounter. So that being said, let's begin and create a new project using ASP.NET Core 3.1 and then upgrade it to .NET 5. Uh, with the new RC edition, there was a new release for Visual Studio that I have downloaded and installed. You can see the version numbers and version preview that I have in here. Uh, I recommend you to do this before making any change in your projects. Obviously, you can use VS Code 2, uh, which is not my favorite, but uh, you then have to download and install the .NET 5 SDKs by, your, by, by yourself. So let's begin by creating a new project. I go to File, New Project, and I am going to pick or select Ace.NET Core Web Application. Next, uh, this is uh, going to be a temporary project, and I name it My Web App New and create then I am going to choose ASP.NET Core 3.1 and the web application template and also let's come here and enable Razor Runtime Compilation and also add individual user accounts to just make things a little bit more Exciting, I create a project and wait for it uh, to generate the code and get ready. So the new project is here and let's pick self host or my web app new and let's just run it and see if it's working properly. Obviously it's going to work properly because it's the default template and all the code uh, is been, has been generated for us. Uh, but for the sake of the argument, let's run it and uh, see what is in there. Then we are going to uh, upgrade this project to .NET 5. You see the console in here. There are going to logs and there we have our project. I can register into this project by a new user. Let's add a new user password and register. I have to apply migrations and it says refresh the page. Let's refresh the page and continue. Let's confirm the content of email and now login again remember me login and i have my management here and that's it we have a new project 
we have login logout management system and everything we need to get us started so let's add this project to a version control system a source control system to do that i come in here and use create git repository and let's pick local only and create it we can later uh, update it or push it to any other version console like like github or microsoft devops but for now it's enough to create a local git so we could do the branching and then updating it to the .NET 5 version so we have our master branch in here and let's create a new branch and call it update 5 and this is where we are going to update our project to .NET 5 and the first thing we need to do is to go to project file in here use edit project file and then just change the net core app to net5 and save next we need to update these libraries that have included in project so let's go to manage new get package in here and, and let's include pre-releases and and go to updates select all package and just hit update in here and wait for the package to be downloaded and uh, i have also need to accept the license in here so let's wait and see what happens as you can see there are no problems or errors in here and it seems that our project has been updated perfectly fine you can see the new version of libraries in here so let's just save everything and let's just build it again um, and see if there are any problems or errors seems like the build process succeeded so let's run the project again and see if it's working properly we see the console in here and voila we have our um, new project or all projects with the new version and everything seems to be working fine let's log in again and go to management so everything is working perfectly fine and we have no problem so as you see the migration goes very smooth there are not many things to do of, of course if you have multiple projects a couple of libraries and everything you have to upgrade them one by one see if there's any problem but for the most part it works just fine and you will not encounter any problem there are some obsolete code in here use database error page is not obsolete and there is database developer page exception filter instead but you don't have to make that change right now it's going to be removed in a future version which is i think going to be number six so there's no rush and uh, you can take care of these kind of problems uh, by your own time and uh, it's just make it easier to update your project from an old version to a newer version if you're using blazor web assembly there are a couple of more things you need to do before getting your project up and running again but for me that wasn't the problem i was not using blazor web assembly in any of my projects so for me everything went very easy so that's it for today i explained how to migrate an expected core 3.1 application to .NET 5 in the next videos, I am going to discuss more features of ASP.NET Core and C Sharp 9 and the Framework 5. If that's something you would like to uh, see, please like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching.